So it's the first day of the Salkante Trek. And we are starting from the city of Molapata. And we're gonna be hiking all the way up to Sore Pampa and then up to the Laguna Humante. So we're deciding to walk up there. A lot of people take a cab, but we've heard it's a really good idea to walk it so you can get acclimated to the elevation gain slower and because it's supposed to be really pretty. And a lot of people miss some of the views. So took a bus from Cusco to Molapata yesterday and then stayed in a hotel in the city last night which was really great and uh, so everything's good excited to finally be trekking all right probably last update of the day is that definitely tiring most tired I've ever felt hiking honestly I am so cached we hiked all the way from Olapata got to Soria Pampa at like 3 30 or so which was way later than I think I thought it was gonna be based on past research so we found a place to put our tent up and then the last part of the day was the hike up to the Pumante Lake which is where I am at right now it is definitely worth the hike up here but the hike up here was brutal. Um, it was quoted at being like a mile and an hour, but that had to have taken us at least an hour and a half to get up here. And I think just the altitude and the fact that we hiked like 12 mi plus miles, 3,000 vertical feet already, uh, just made this really tough. But like all good things that come take some hard work especially in nature so this is pretty sweet so we made it to the top of the uh, the seven snakes which are well named you can see all the switchbacks uh, we came from all the way from the end of the valley and uh, definitely a challenge we're probably I guess a little more than halfway up towards the pass but that's tough <laughs> you know we got full packs on so we're taking little baby steps but we're making it so that's all that matters uh next update will probably be at the top of the pass it took us about five hours to get to the top from soria papa it was very very challenging with full packs trying to get all the way up here uh but we made it it's gorgeous and then uh just been up here taking photos uh, it's so amazing perfectly blue sky day and then we'll just uh, head down down to uh, Trolley is our final camping spot for the day but this place is just absolutely stunning all right it's a uh, end of day two for the Salkin day trek and we have camps at a place called Weyremakai and I'm sure I'm totally butchering the spelling of that. But it's just, uh, we had to stop a little bit earlier than we wanted to just because of the daylight. Uh, we lost a couple hours because I lost my Chacos up there somewhere, unfortunately. But still had an amazing day today. The Salquente Pass was breathtaking. Uh, it was really tough. I mean, I don't have the stats in front of me, but. We had to have done at least like 14 miles today, at least 3,000 feet of elevation gain. So it was it was a challenging day for sure. I think we're all pretty cached. So now we're just camping here. It's pretty cool. All these clouds are just rolling in from the valley down below us. Um, hey, so it's the end of day three of the Salkante Trek. And we hiked just under 16 miles today. Um, I, can, I don't know the, the stats on how much we descended, but it was thousands and thousands of feet. It was really tough um, on the legs, on the knees. Lots of tough trails going down. And then eventually we got to this trail after Chale. Um, that was really nice getting to hike along the river. Um, 
So that was, that was nice getting to be in some more woodsy type of terrain compared to what we've experienced the last couple days, which has been more, um, definitely like more rocky and, you know, dusty type of terrain. To be hiking on dirt in the woods felt pretty good today. Good morning from the Salkante Trek. It is day four for us, and we are right now at the Lac de Pata viewpoint. And it was a nice uphill climb to get here from where we camped last night. Um, took us about two and a half hours, and a lot of it was uphill, but pretty nice trail through the trees. And we reached this amazing viewpoint for a nice break. Uh, it's pretty cloudy. Um, but you can even see Machu Picchu is all the way over there. You can see little parts of it from here. Uh, and that's where we will end up tomorrow. We're gonna hike down towards Hydroelectrica. And then, uh, and then from there we follow the railroad tracks down to Aguas Calientes. We made it to the top of Machu Picchu Mountain. And it was a... Uh, tough one hour climb to get to the top. Uh, we raced up the stairs to get here. Some of them were really steep, like over knee height for the steps. Um, so it took us just over, just exactly an hour, which was a lot faster than like the hour and a half estimate that we were told by a lot of people. So we're pretty sure we crushed it. Um, and then we came up here and been waiting for the clouds to clear and we keep getting these little pockets of view of Machu Picchu and it's just amazing when I mean, we've got 360 degree views like all the way around um, and uh, so it's just uh, just incredible to see down in the valley where we were this morning hiking all the way up from down there we'll stay here and enjoy the view for a little bit longer and then uh, head back down and eventually get down to Aguas Calientes. So I made it back down from uh, Machu Picchu Mountain. It was a long, took just as long to get down as it did for me to get up and hurt my feet way more. Uh, but it's kind of funny how when you get back down here, all the clouds have lifted, uh, the sun is shining right on Machu Picchu. The view is actually like way better right here. Um, so it's just amazing. Uh, gonna enjoy this ruins. It's a lot more crowded here, but that's okay. <laughs> this is a bit of a different setting than our uh, normal update, but we are at a hot spring outside of Santa Teresa. We hiked this morning from Aguas Calientes out to Hydroelectrica, which took about just over two hours. And then we took a cab from Hydroelectrica to get out here to the hot springs in Santa Teresa. And it feels so good to soak up some, some warm water uh, on the body. And uh, it's pretty cool, each of these lakes is like sequentially uh, cooler in temperature. All the way to the end is cold water. We'll see if any of us are brave enough to do that or not. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty nice gem to conclude our salt and take trek. And then we head back to Cusco tonight. <laughs>